I came up with the name Bayona because the first time I came to look at the building, I noticed the tile marker on the, on the wall there right outside the door. And it was a historic marker that was put up, I believe, by the Spanish government back in the 60s. They came around and they put up these beautiful uh, yellow and blue Spanish tile markers on a lot of the street corners saying when New Orleans was a Spanish territory, um, this street was called like Camino Royal as opposed to Rue Royale. And the street out here was Camino de Bayona, um, as opposed to Rue Dauphine. And I just thought it was a beautiful word. I thought it was very warm sounding, European. I didn't think it necessarily sounded Spanish. I thought it just sounded kind of, you know, old world. Um, and I also thought that people would kind of connect to it because it sounded like Bayou. But of course, nobody says Bayona. Everybody says Bayona. <laughs> Even though everybody says Bayou, <laughs> they say Bayona. So it's just kind of funny. So everybody calls it Bayona, but I still call it Bayona. It has been an interesting 15 years. And yes, uh, yeah, a lot of it's been hard, but some of it's been easy and fun and, uh, you know, obviously very rewarding. Yeah, I'd really like this to become, you know, part of the fabric of, of New Orleans. I'm ready hand it over to the next <laughs> whoever that may be I'm not ready but you know I only got a few good years left as uh, the wife of uh, Andre Soltner who was the uh, Lu uh, the chef at Lutes who worked every day every day every day for several years and his wife worked with him in the restaurant and they said Mrs. Soltner what would you ever do if Andre retired and she said I would live <laughs>